If you're a bookkeeper or an accountant and you have lots of customers that use Zoho, well, you might be interested in Zoho's new practice management software. Today, we're going to unbox it and we're going to have a look through what it looks like, what the features are. Now, if you're an accountant or a bookkeeper and you happen to be in Australia, you would be familiar with Zero Practice Manager. I think what Zoho is trying to do is equate their platform to something like Zoho Practice Manager. So let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so we're on the announcement screen and we can see all of the features that they're trying to provide. So client management, basically all it does is group your Zoho Books users together, allows you to collaborate and communicate with your client, gives you some analytics and insights as to what's happening in their business, allows you to manage tasks and allows them to ask things of you. You can track time in the system for your billing. You can share source documentation with your clients and you can customize some features of your clients. This is the dashboard. I've set up a brief account and I haven't really put much information, but again, this is an unboxing. So we're just going to go and discover it together. I'm on the home page. We can see there's some stats. Perhaps there's some tasks coming up, things you need to do. Your active clients, particularly if you're a bookkeeper, you want to be on top of how many you're servicing. Tasks, client requests, task status and unbilled tasks. So on the left here, you get to add your clients. Now, if they've got a Zoho account already, you can uh, import the client or you can synchronize them with your account. Otherwise, you can create a new one. Uh, and to do that, it's basically going to say, is it a Zoho or other finance application? For example, are they using books or are they using inventory or are they using some other platform? Then you can define some services. And once you set up their details, their time zone, their currencies, etc., then they'll get a portal where they can also provide you requests. So in the requests area, I go new and I go client request. And basically this might be, can you double check this? Or can you help me write off a bill or an invoice? Can you help me create a credit note? Whatever task it is that they're getting you to do, it'll basically go in a list here, which you can then filter using the filters just up here. So kind of like your case management or task management system. Insights where if we create a client, we'll end up with some analytics and dashboards. Tasks, again, very easy. If I create a task, then it's virtually the same as a client request. The only difference is you've got reminders that you can set. And a task might be something that you generate internally so that you know you have to provide them with their BAS statement at the end of the quarter, for example. Time tracking is very simple, but you do have a few different modes. You can start a timer and add notes and associate a particular task or you can log time, which gives you this little form where you can fill out. And then if you want to do it in a weekly time sheet view, you have the ability to do that as well. And then the documents, again, this is where you share your source documentation, if they're sharing receipts with you or contracts or any of that sort of information. And then your activity logs, so that'll just be your audit trail of everything that you've done. Let's have a look at the settings. You have the ability to change a few fields on, so you've got custom fields, you can create some templates, templates, send reminders and notifications, which will help you speed up some of your work. In the integrations, obviously it's gonna work with Zoho apps, so don't be surprised if most of what you see in there is Zoho only. And developer space. You can add your team in as well. Under the users and roles section, you can create different role types. So you might have a junior bookkeeper or accounting working for you, and they can log in and do some of the work for you. Then going back to the settings area, you can also add new tasks, comments, questions, etc. clients from this plus button that's at the top here. So you'll be able to jump in, add a client, client request, add users or a task. So that's pretty much the overview of Zoho Practice. It's designed to be a management framework that you apply to your clients' books or Zoho Books accounts so that you can roll up all the data or aggregate it into a parent entity just to see what you're doing, when you're doing it, how you're doing it, tracking your time on it so you can bill it effectively and then manage your clients in a much more seamless manner. So again, this is kind of moving towards the direction of a practice manager. It doesn't have a lot of the country localization that you would expect from something like a zero practice manager. So making sure that you try this and make sure that it's okay for your circumstances. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Now we do have an online community where we do go through questions, answers, provide tips, resources, videos like this in our online community, which you can find a link for in the comments. Otherwise, go to community.relevate.com.au. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, give it a like, and you take care.